Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your game host Holly and we're back with another episode on a day in the life of rank 1 and we're gonna step into Layla's game again and just see how it goes. The last time we did it, I think she was executioner and she did like an interesting strategy of getting her target executed at night and then getting Lynch's jester. So we'll see how this goes. What is she? Oh, she's she's Godfather. Okay. This is going to be a very interesting game. <laughs> like, I can already feel it. Okay. You are the leader of an organized crime. Let's see how it goes. Layla just went with her name Layla, so she didn't even try to go incognito. John is the jailer. Hey, my love. <laughs> Layla's already planning on blackmailing, making people blackmail. Okay, blackmail John, I will call the BMer Dr. Disguiser SK. Okay, I can already see the play they're trying to do here. So they have a blackmailer and they're thinking to have the blackmailer blackmail the jailer and then Layla will call the blackmailer Dr. Disguiser SK. So then all the visits on Jailer would be accused of being potential blackmailers while Layla is going to confirm the blackmailer as a doctor. No, only it's better if only one random mafia visit. Bruh, no. Why you do this? Ghost and William both, I mean Giles and William both visited. But Layla's gonna call William Dr. Disguiser SK. Okay, so this is Mayor down. The mayor was probably planning on claiming Sheriff. So Layla calls William as Dr. Disguiser SK. John but then claims invest on girl in red who is TK. Crow says girl in red is Inno. Jailer is not whispering back. Okay, Sarah Bishop comes out with the lookout will that says the jailer was visited by so many people. Jeez. Ugly dude Leah Trumpet Giles William Hobbs. It's really sad that both Giles and William both visited when we were trying to frame only one of them as being the blackmailer. So Giles didn't listen to Layla, but they're gonna push on dude. You VFR a guy who is on TP lookout. So the jailer is spamming blackmail to indicate that he was blackmailed. And this guy's getting pushed because the jailer is blackmailed and one of those visits have to be the blackmailer. But because Layla confirmed William as Dr. Disguiser SK, they can't necessarily be blackmailer because she is confirming her own mafia. Invest me tonight. So Layla is trying to make the jailer jail ugly. And trying to save her own framer because... The fact that the framer also visited the TP lookout call when Layla was just trying to frame someone as being the blackmailer doesn't really bode well. Out X3, all TP on William. Okay, so she successfully allowed Giles to not be jailed. Can we not go on jailer? Don't visit the jailer because it's werewolf night. Don't blackmail. Just just stay home. 
Or blackmail 11, maybe, because 11 is the lookout. Mafia is gonna say Layla is investigator consig mayor. Okay, Layla is gonna say Giles is BGGF Arso. So she's kind of gonna frame him as... Okay, Giles wants to claim doctor. Okay, so Layla's gonna confirm her own mafia as Dr. Disguiser SK. And she's gonna try to buy the Jailer a little bit. It is already a 6v6, so Salty calls Trumpet sus. Crow goes Leah Inno. Annie and Ed K vote with us or lose. We're still pretending to be town. So Trumpet is blackmailer. Layla is framing all the people who potentially visited the jailer as being blackmailer because she confirmed both of her mafia as being doctors. That means that Trumpet, the other guy who visited the jailer, has to be mafia. She's probably going to say like, if your town vote trumpet, that kind of thing. Yikes. I am checking nine. Layla is just trying her best to buy the jailer. and framing other people who visited the jailer as blackmailer. I am asking the Vigi to shoot 14. Okay, so basically what she's doing is she's just trying to have... This might be Disguiser. Okay. She's just trying to have the jailer not jail her mafia. I think that's all she's doing, because... The fact that she's saying she will shoot, she will tell Vigi to shoot, and that kind of thing makes the jailer not want to jail 14, who is the mafioso. Even though there is definitely not a Vigi claim out here. <laughs> Sheriff got this sus, so you are disguiser. Ugly is BMer. 13 is Arso. And the jailer kind of feels like a sheep, so... And I'm guessing one of those visits on the Jailer is the Arsonist. So she successfully lynched another doctor who was on the TP lookout call because the blackmailer blackmailed the Jailer and it frames one of those visits as being the blackmailer. Should we... Should Mafia be able to hit the Jailer? 13 slash 7. There really are. 10 will vote with Mafia. The neutral should be voting with Mafia right now. Blackmail the Jailer. Okay. So Layla's gonna buy the neutral to see if they will vote with Mafia. And Salty is the executioner because Trumpet is his target. And it works very well because Layla was trying to push all the TPs anyways. I made Jailer Lynch your target. And Sarah has now been killed, so Layla successfully made Jailer execute the arsonist, which was Mafia's biggest threat. And as long as they work together, they can lynch the Jailer, because they got four Mafia with the neutral. There's no mayor anymore. There's no mayor, so they can successfully vote the Jailer, and it should be easy peasy. <laughs> Lol, Layla and her Mafia have contradicting wills. It shouldn't matter. See, I am not Arso. I can't be GF either because I visited Jailer. I can't be RM because Sheriff found me as NS. 
Yeah, this is how it kind of works like a charm, how one of your random mafias visit the jailer, and then you kind of confirm your random mafias being Dr. Disguiser SK. Usually, you usually don't do BGGF Arso just because it gives your random mafia a chance to become the arsonist. Usually, Dr. Disguiser SK is the best. This is how you win a 3TP slash lookout game. Yeah, exactly. The lookout was actually a hindrance in this case because there are way too much TPs and even though Giles and William both visited the jailer and they got themselves into this blackmailer loophole, because Layla was able to confirm both William and Giles and also I guess sheep the jailer into not jailing her framer. She was able to kind of manipulate the jailer. Not gonna lie, the jailer was a <laughs> the jailer was a huge sheep for believing Layla the whole time. We could not find a last will. Yep, the jailer is dead. It's actually a pretty it's it's a play that's been used a lot in how the random mafia visits a jailer and then someone investigates the random mafia to confirm them. Because even if there's a spy that proves that a random mafia visited the jailer, because you have another mafia backing up your claim, you can usually make the jailer execute another TP or I guess lynch a TP. They're gonna hang the vet tomorrow and they're gonna kill the TP today. I'm guessing they know who the vet is. Okay, so Leah is dead. Bodyguard Leah. Dang, how many TPs? Yeah, it was a 3 TP game. 3 TP, 1 arsonist. Dude, even without the play, the arsonist would have messed town up so much. Like, they would keep suspecting who was the arsonist. Yay, the XC. They really did help each other out. And the jailer really did just listen to Layla. The jailer just executed the arsonist. Crow is the sheriff. <laughs> and they're gonna kill Girl in Red, who is a veteran, because he was found Vigi Vet Moth. It is unfortunate in these games where it's a veteran instead of a Vigi. Cause a Vigi could go shooting. I don't know, maybe the maybe I feel like Layla could be able to manipulate the Vigi into shooting a town because she did confirm her two random mafias as doctor. <laughs> the Xy wants to be blackmailed, okay. Pretty wholesome game. I like it. I lifted the sword for you. <laughs> oh jeez. Growing red the useless vet. I do like how the veteran is was planning to save alerts. That is a really smart decision. The fact that he the fact that she, probably she, did not alert night one and kill the investigator was really good. And now they're gonna end Crow. It is GG. That was a really good game. 
he asked to be blackmailed, so he gets what he asked for. We should have decided on what we we're calling Crow. It didn't matter. It didn't really matter. Layla really did carry this Mafia team. I feel like without Layla, Giles and William would not have been able to function. Okay. Crow dead in their home. A lot of the times when you feel like you are the more capable Mafia, which is a fine feeling, it's a good idea like what Layla is doing to try to lead your Mafia, which is like telling them what you want them to do instead of doing your own thing. So the fact that Mafia were able to coordinate and do like teamwork and make plays usually help them secure their win. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and this was a really great game. So thank you Layla for sharing and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.